making this again keyboard for you uh, that will easier for you to understand so you make this keyboard you know why I make this keyboard every time for you guys so that you get the hang of it you you keep you also follow me while making this practice making this keyboard small on the side this will really help you out to give your theory exams is very useful you every time you need it whenever you're giving your theory exams so make sure you practice that one so what is chromatic scale is when you're using all the 12 notes within that one scale that means if it's you start from c so it'll be a c c sharp then d d sharp e f you know f sharp g g sharp a a sharp and b so you have used all the 12 notes within that one scale so that is in short is a chromatic scale one thing you have to remember in that one that you do not uh, you know repeat the uh, notes more than two times right you can see either it could be c or c sharp or either it could be c and c flat but it cannot happen that in a chromatic scale you will have c uh, natural and c sharp and c flat as well there could be only two of them not three of them just make sure of that one okay whenever you're making any chromatic scale so let's move on to the first exercise straight away so here we have to uh, circle the chromatic passages so you can see the um, first example we'll again gonna go to the first exercise so let's start we're gonna start this is d okay we'll write all the notes first and then this is b then you have C sharp, then you have D, then E, then D, then again D, then C sharp, and then C natural. Okay. Now let's find out how it which one can be a chromatic passage from this. So again, we're gonna make a small keyboard again. So let's make that one again. Maybe it looks like there is a time of waste to make the keyboard again and again, but this is, trust me friends, this is going to really help you out if you learn this, how to make the keyboard quicker way in your theory exams. So now if you see here, after we have finished this one, if you start from D, and next should be the D sharp, but it's B. If you start from B, it should be C sharp, but it's wrong. From C sharp also, next is not uh, D yes it is D but then next is E is not there so if we start from uh, C sharp uh, let's see, yes from D it can be if you go backwards it's C sharp then C and C uh, natural so that is a chromatic scale passage it is not going forward but it's backward now the next one we have it is E then F F sharp G G sharp A A sharp b c and c sharp next we have d d sharp then e and f now over here the whole passage from e to d sharp is one chromatic passage why we are not taking e and f also follows that but we you know the chromatic uh, would be taken only the 12 notes if so that's why we're taking only the 12 notes next one is d e f <clears throat> sharp then we have g g sharp a then a sharp then we have B, then we have F sharp, sorry, yes, F sharp, then you have G natural, and then we have E there. The last one is D. So if you look at here, we found it from F sharp to G to G sharp, A to A sharp till B. So I think from F sharp. Till B will make one chromatic passage. The next exercise is we write the following music without a key signature. 
so we just have to put the accidentals instead of key signatures wherever it is it will fall so let's start we're going to start with the first exercise <clears throat> so in the first exercise you can see the key signature either it could be a b flat major okay or it could be a g minor that means we have b flat and e flat as a key signature so let's write it down this all to clear Let's see time signature then let's make the notes first <clears throat> uh, guys I always uh, if you see my stems are going here and there just forgive me for that my main motive is to make your concepts clear these cleanliness and the making the neatness you can practice on your own when you do it sometimes it I do make mistakes as I'm a human being too so just forgive me for that but main thing is to your concept should be clear okay so let's complete the notes first yeah i'm sorry again for the last n bar let's put an accidental there <coughs> See, always remember take your time to check the notes again and again sometimes in a hurry we know it's easy question so we tend to make silly mistakes in that one that has happened with me earlier as well so make sure you practice it properly sometimes you make silly mistakes in a hurry So make sure theory is something which you need to really be careful while you giving your answers. Now let's write down the notes first. I'm breaking it out for you guys in a very proper way so that it's easier for you to understand. If you have any questions, just let me know. Okay, just try to share the videos with many people you can. That's gonna really gonna help people, those who cannot afford to go for theory classes. So now you can see here we have to put B and E as flat because we don't cannot show them as a key signature. So find out where is the B flat, let's put it there, find the E and put the flat in front of them as an accidental, and that's how we finish our this question. Let's move to the next one again. If there is B flat major or it is G minor, same thing is the B flat or E flat. Not all it's and E flat. Let's try the time signature. Let's quickly make the notes bar lines. I'm slightly zoomed in so that it's easy to make the notes over there otherwise as if you have any question any doubts please let me know in the comment section And I hope you will like and share the videos. I hope this year I complete my 4000 hours.
So let's write the notes now. It's e flat because we have to put the accidental. This is G. It's A. <coughs> it's A again. This is B. We have to put flat. And then we have B natural there. Then it's C. Then there is D. And then there is E again, flat in front of the E as an accidental. Let's move on. Copy this C chromatic scale in minims going down. This is very easy. We just have to copy it. We don't have to do anything else. You can do that very easily on your own. Just take care of the accidentals when you're putting it. Be very careful. Put the end bars. Let's put the accidentals now. Put the stems. <clears throat> this one is very easy. You just have to copy the same scale as given. Now let's move to the next one. Now copy this D chromatic scale and crotchets going down. So <clears throat> friends remember in chromatic scale no notes, none of the notes should repeat more than twice. Okay. Like what I mean by same note should not repeat means C note, either it can be C natural or C sharp or C sharp, C flat or C flat, C natural, but not all C together. There's nothing much to talk in this topic, that's why I'm not talking that too much. So, you can just see how I'm doing it. Because there's nothing more to explain in this one. You just have to copy. Just take care of the accidentals when you're putting it. It's the right position and correctly. <clears throat> Now let's move on to the next question. Next question you can see it's written uh, write two more repeats of this chromatic oscillatory that moves in similar motion. So you know what is a similar motion? When it's a similar motion is almost like a parallel one. Okay. So you have to write uh, this repeat whatever it given in the first two measures. So to repeat in the second and fourth measure. 
so this is also very easy there is nothing to explain in this one okay uh, we have we have already learned what is the singular motion and the contrary motion contrary motion goes opposite and uh, the singular motion goes parallel to each other so there is nothing much to explain austenati you know it is just the repetition recall austenati that we have learned in earlier uh, grades so this one you can do it very easily just take care of the the way you're writing the first measure or second measure you're writing just check no should be same okay so there's nothing to talk we can do it quickly i will see you by the end of this so we can just fill it now quickly Now the next one, same. Now we have to repeat these two measures given up with the two by four time signature. So we repeat in the <coughs> here. Let's do this one. This is the last one. Okay, the same thing again. We have to write the same. Uh, we have to repeat the austenity, but this time it is a contrary motion. Okay, so nothing here. You can just look over it. How I'm doing it? There's nothing to explain. Uh, by now you know what is the contrary motion and similar motion. So just follow it. Just write it and just copy. Repeat it the same way is given up in the example. Okay.
so thank you guys thank you for today's uh, video i will see in the next video hope you like this and please guys i request you to please share and watch it online as much as i really want i hope that by this year i can complete my 4000 hours that is only possible with uh, if you guys want it so hope to see you next week in video till then take care